quick shout out to 11 Below Brewery. Got this sweet glass while I was in Hugh Stone. Uh, gonna use it for this Stone IPA that I'm reviewing today. So this is 6.9% alcohol. It's Stone's uh, flagship India Pale Ale. So we're gonna get into it. I think it's more of like a West Coast style. Gonna be super in my face, hoppy, pretty boozy. So let's jump right in. I think this is my first review for anything uh, by Stone Brewery. Not my first beer, but uh, the cap is just awesome. It's got their little uh, gargoyle looking logo on the cap. It's got their social media information in the cap, smart. Uh, but yeah, gargoyle, a fearsome figure carved from stone, stone, that has powers to ward off evil spirits. Our stone gargoyle wards off modern day evil spirits such as the chemical, pres chemical preservatives, additives, and adjuncts. One taste and you can tell he does the job very well. So yeah, I guess they're saying that this guy kind of keeps all the nasty stuff that people put in beers out of their beer. So their ingredients, nothing but barley, hops, water, and yeast. And I believe it, you know, stone is one of those breweries that is highly uh, praised for their stuff. They're known for making really good stuff, IPAs, they make the Arrogant Bastard. But this one uh, particularly is a loved one from people uh, that dig into some stone stuff. So Oklahoma just recently got um, these distributed throughout, so like within the past two months. So we're gonna get into it. Ooh, it's got like this creamy, milky, hoppy butterscotch. Ooh, and it looks really good. It's like this really vibrant orange gold color with a really tight off-white head that's really nice. It looks pretty good in this glass. The aromas are just killer. Yeah, milky butterscotch cream spice, like hoppy. Mmm, that's delicious. Smells like candy, straight up candy. I love that Houston side. Okay, it's, uh, cheers. Mmm, yeah, so that sweet, oh, that's delicious. That sweet butterscotch taste, very fruity, those light citrus fruits, but also those deep pithy fruits like the mangoes and the papaya, pineapple. It's got a nice residual bitterness that lingers, but it's soft. Well, my cat decided to play with my mic cord and that's why you're seeing me like this. Fix that. Cheese Louises. Great label, by the way. The see-through um, label with Stone IPA on it. That's just really nice looking. Oh, and this is from North County, San Diego, California. So they distribute almost everywhere. I mean, if you distribute, if you distribute to Oklahoma, you're going to distribute to most places. But really creamy, really hoppy, the West Coast hops, really powerful, big hop aromas, and really, really fresh tasting. Well done, Stone. Uh, this is pretty friggin' delicious. Cool, guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it grain. Thanks for watching. See you guys.